Hello, my name is Dinesh D'Souza and I am the director of Genesis Executive Search, one of the foremost recruitment companies in Dubai. Welcome back to our video series on how to prepare a professional CV. If you missed my previous video on structuring the education section in your CV, then you can watch it here. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Today we will learn about the training and development section in your CV. The training and development section can be structured. Point number one, highlight your skills. You must ensure that every skill you have learned to accomplish in a job is stressed upon at least once. It may be good to mention how long you have worked in that skill. For example, four years of HTML or two years in Adobe Photoshop or six years in JD Edwards is an example. Skills like MS Office, which includes Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, tend to be ordinary and probably worth a skip or worth mentioning only once. More advanced skills like the use of macros in Excel can be stressed upon. Point number two, create a training and skills subsection. This training and skills subsection can include computer or IT based skills in which your computer literacy can be mentioned. You can have a language skills subsection indicating your native or fluent languages, languages that you have intermediate or working proficiency and languages that you have basic understanding of. Similarly, you can include an awards and achievement subsection 2. Point number 3. Add a professional interest section. You can include competitive sports in the section, your interest in keeping up to date with political health issues. You can include interests like trekking, challenge sports, which highlights your own endeavors. You may take note of not mentioning hobbies like stamp collection, watching movies, cooking, etc. in your CV they would have little or no impact in your professional career. Let us look at some examples of how you can manage the skills. You can create the skill set in a infographic box format as indicated, or you can show it as a chart, a diagram, or you may just want a training skills and development section in a columnar format as shown in the diagram below. The most common use of training, development and skills is indicated with the skills that you have accomplished, the institution that you have accomplished it from and the year of completion. Point number four, be careful of controversial interests. These controversial interests could be political figures, or religious beliefs. Remember, your CV is read to primarily attract attention and not create a doubt. The last point is brag about your awards. The award section or achievement section can be highlighted under training and development. These awards deserve an impactful one sentence highlight, such as earned a company sponsored family holiday for being the company's top sales performer four quarters in a row or completed a marathon in the 2019 UAE Marathon Challenge could come under training and development section. This completes our YouTube video on training and development. Join me next week as we begin our next YouTube video on filling gaps in your CV. We at Genesis Executive Search can help you prepare a professional CV. Jobs are not going to wait for you and neither do you want to wait for a job. Contact us immediately and have your professional CV ready in three to four working days. This is Dinesh D'Souza. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like our video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.